by popular request, I'm going to be demonstrating some more cooking videos, except I'm going to be in them, uh, I guess. So I'll do a little introduction. Um, I'm going to be doing the first video on uh, my new 17 inch Blackstone griddle. And uh, let's have a look at it down here. There we go. We've got the Blackstone griddle. It's not exactly huge, but it's got a single burner, it's got a little grease trap. And uh, you lift it up. I keep the, uh, the regulator in there. So we'll get that set up and then we'll get into it. I'm going to do a, uh, a breakfast here. So I'm going to do, um, I got some diced ham for a soup that I'm putting together. So I'm going to put that on there too. But I'm going to do kind of an omelet. Um, and that's going to have uh, a couple eggs and some uh, egg product, you know, like egg beaters in it. <clears throat> it's going to have scallions. It's gonna have some diced up Canadian bacon and some cheese, and we're gonna do it diner style on the flat top. Uh, so let's get to it. Here I've got the scallions and Canadian bacon for the omelet. We got some canola oil. I got my eggs. This right here is actually a very good piece of kit you should always have. So this is, uh, is an infrared thermometer, and you're gonna want one of these things. You know, you, you point it at there, and right now I know that this is at about 250 to 255. So this will tell you exactly how hot your, your flat top is. I do have one of, the, one of the longer spatulas, but I've just got this small spatula here, and I've got a little scraper. So now I'm going to go over here, and this is where we're going to do the, apparently this thing is not level. This is where we're going to do the Canadian bacon and scallion. I'm just kind of getting this, the uh, Canadian bacon pieces all kind of separated because they stuck to each other a little bit from when I stacked them up and I cut them. Got little Canadian bacon bits kind of blowing up everywhere. It smells nice, nice and icy. I'll put it off to the side here where so I'm gonna spread these out away from the side wall just a little bit. I'm gonna give her a little bit of pepper. So this stuff's just about all done. We're gonna we're gonna take our filling and we're gonna go put it on the plate over here. Get that off of the griddle so it doesn't snap, crackle, and pop all over the place. I'm not gonna use butter because the smoke point on butter is is pretty low, so I don't think we want that to happen. So now you're gonna want to use your spatula to kind of corral the eggs. Into, into sort of an even shape. Lost a lot of my goddamn chives in there. And these are gonna cook pretty quickly, right? So we can kind of spill some of these out to the side and then scrape them back in. We just wanna keep it, it's okay if it's a little bit long, right? Crap, I'll tell you what. I forgot cheese. Oh well. So now we're gonna put this along the, the length of our omelet. And we're just gonna keep on letting this cook here. Keep that in the center. I would put the cheese down if I was bright enough to, uh, to add it. You just kind of keep letting it cook. You want to make sure it's done. We can still see some of that in there. So now 
we kind of fold that end and we fold this end a little bit. And we just fold it into a little pocket. Got that little bit sti sticking out, so you could always cut that off if you want to, because that's kind of unsightly. And we just kind of let that chill out for another few seconds or so. We just want to make sure all the eggs on the inside are cooked. I haven't made a flat top diner style omelet in years, so uh, this is a little bit ugly, but it'll do the trick. We'll put that right up against the wall. We're just going to make sure it's cooked all nice and neat. That's probably pretty good. We'll roll it back over. Put her down. We shut the heat off. Make sure to give it a good straight scrape and, and get as much gunk as you, you know, can down into that grease trap. It'll make cleaning a lot easier for you. So we've got a nice diner style griddle omelet. I've made prettier, but it's been a while since I've uh, made it. We got a little tear here, that's not great, but I'm out of practice. So I'll try another one of these again at some point in time. So there you have it. We've got our diner style breakfast done on a flat top on the Blackstone griddle. So I'll try to do a few more of these for you folks, but uh, I hope this was somewhat instructive. Let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything else you want uh, to see me try to cook, because I'm gonna try to do some more of these griddle videos going forward. So uh, make sure you keep on cooking and uh, yeah, make yourself breakfast on a flat top. Do it. <music>